Hello everyone and welcome back to Sendix Weather Channel. Today we are looking at the latest from the models for the next couple of weeks, which will take us into the around the 15th of June today. Um, I did just want to start off by saying uh, thank you to everyone who commented win on the last video. You can see all of your names are in there. If any more of you want to enter, please comment win down below and then I can put you all into there. But there's quite a few people who have commented on that video. But if you want to be entered within a chance, in with a chance, I should say, uh, to win some send it stickers and some other goodies which will work out in a few, in a week or so, uh, then please do comment win down below and I'll get you entered in um, to that. Anyway, let's get straight on with things. So, I'm going to have a look at the latest. I will say though, before we start, the ECM has thrown in an absolute wild run once again. Um, but if you do enjoy today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I do appreciate all of your continued support. Let's get straight on with things. So at the moment, we've got high pressure. Thank you. Thank you. We've got high, <laughs> we've got high pressure centred to our south over France. Low pressures to our north. Winds are in from a southwesterly direction, keeping us pretty dry and pretty settled with, with the odd shower um, passing through. It's actually been quite drizzly this morning. Um, as I'm recording this. Anyway, going beyond that, PG. Shh. <laughs> We've got, I'm joking, I'm joking. We've got a little hate relationship, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, but anyway, high pressure begins to weaken as low pressure begins to enter in from off the Atlantic. By the start of June, so on the 1st of June, wet weather's pushing into north, particularly north and west Scotland, um, and also northern England as well. That clears away and we'll bring to more of an Atlantic driven flow with areas of low pressure pushing in, particularly affecting the north, and we have into more of an Atlantic, uh, more mobile um, weather patterns with winds in from the west. I'm not sure what this hand movement is, but I like it. Anyway, the high pressure's pulled out to our west, which means the jet stream's sinking southwards, which is allowing these areas of low pressure to also sink, sink southwards. I did warn you, I may start talking about the weather. I did warn you. <laughs> um, anyway. Low pressure continues through that first week of June, continues to rattle in from off the Atlantic, particularly affecting the north, but not exclusively. There will be quite a few showers around, even, well, particularly affecting the west, as you'd expect. Going beyond that, though, into the um, second week of June, you can see an area of low pressure clearing to our east. Winds going into more of a chillier or cooler northerly, I should say. Um, high pressure out to our west, blocking feature, bringing down this northerly wind. Um, and we are bringing in some pretty chilly air for the time of year. Nothing ridiculous, of course, because it is, you know, June. But it is pretty chilly. Beyond that, though, high pressure begins to um, take back over and it ridges in from off the Atlantic. And we are going quite settled again. James Dukebox, I'm looking out for your comment, saying, I told you it would be wet. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Anyway, but that's just one run. What do the other ones say? On with the GM next. Um... High pressure begins to move in from off the, well from from the west is pushing in over the top of the country before it just get dissipated and clears away to our east topples away and we get an area of low pressure moving in by the first of June bringing wet weather to northern England and southern central Scotland in particularly in particular la, 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 in particular <laughs> into Tuesday next week though and big area deep area of low pressure. Sitting just out to our north and west, bringing in the wind from a westerly or southwesterly. Quite windy, tightly packed ice bars with this run. Um, you can see UK. Um, tightly packed ice bars could bring some quite windy conditions to the um, pretty much the north of the country on Tuesday, if this is correct. Again, a bit of uncertainty about what exactly, how exactly that will play out, but we'll have a look over the few days. Going beyond that, though, that area of low pressure weakens but still stays to our north bringing bands of wet weather into southern scotland there southern and northern scotland going beyond that though high pressure moves out to our west and we get a deep area of low pressure sat right at the top of the country 980 millibars at the center of that low looks pretty nasty for the second 7th of june um on that saturday doesn't look nice at all and that will be bringing in plenty of rain if we look at the precipitation, you can see there's quite a bit around, um, quite a lot of heavy rain around, um, spiralling around that low, and it will be quite windy. Tight packed ice bars before it eventually begins to clear away. So it doesn't look great. Got to say the signals don't look great. But then we've got the ECM, which I must say, I'm not sure about the performance of this model recently. It's been a bit iffy, if I say, if I would say. It's been throwing out some very wild runs, and I haven't really mentioned it too much, but got to consider it because it is a model run. Anyway, could come off. Um, so at the end of the day, we've got high pressure again to our south, low pressure to our north, winds in from the southwest, so it's pretty nice at the moment. Um, but again, could be a bit drizzly and showery in places, uh, particularly in the north. Going into the first 
but first days of June, Sunday the 1st of June. Now we have low pressure, a bit weaker though, uh, this just brings some rain to the north. But that clears away winds going to more of a westerly mobile pattern. We've got a deep area of low pressure just out to our north. Further north with the um, ECM sun. Doesn't affect us as directly. You can just see it's probably more affecting Iceland with some quite strong winds. But we're, uh, we're going to see some quite strong rain, heavy rain for the north in particular. And cooler conditions taking place. Taking over I should say. Um, going in, in, beyond into the, um, end of the week, end of next week. You can see that low pressure begins to weaken but stays out to our west and begins to clear away very slowly to our north. High pressure begins to build in again from the south. Winds are going into more of a westerly or southwesterly direction. And we are beginning to see some a warm plume or a hot plume of air moving northwards. You can see, look at this plume into Western Europe again from the ECM. Bringing in the 50 degrees frame to much of many parts of Western Europe. We're on the periphery of that. Going beyond that though into the very extended range, the ECM brings in a easterly and um, brings that hot weather in eventually at the very end of the run doing its thing with the 10 degrees firm into much of the country and the 15 degrees firm into the southeast coast. If you look at yesterday's run, um, it is completely different, but you can see it does bring in that very warm spike of air um, by the 8th of June. If we looked at that yesterday, we've got that high pressure out to our east winds in from a southerly direction, bringing up, dragging up that really warm air. Um, just shows the disparity between the models at the moment. How long will the low pressure hang on for? Well, that's to be determined. Um, and the models are varying in output um, on that as well. So we'll have to just wait and see how it plays out. But I do think that first week of June is probably going to be a write-off for many of us. Pretty unsettled. Into the second week of June, though, I can see high pressure building back in. But it could be quite horrible, particularly further north. If we look at the ensembles, we can't look at the 6 but you can see it's just coming out. To up to the um, 9th of June... Uh, you can see we are around to slightly below average. At the moment, we are around to above average at the moment with the upper temperatures. They will drop and um, they look pretty certain to be at least around average for a time. Although there are a few pretty warm or hot outliers in the mix going up towards the 20 degrees firm. Um, so a bit of uncertainty even by the 7th of June. Um, we'll have to see how it plays out. The GFS run is um, on the cooler side. There's some runs up here going up to the 15 degrees firm. So all to play for is what I'd say on that. But if we look at the midnight run for a proper look, you can see that we are around slightly above average at the moment. Again, but going below average for about a week before we do see these very warm runs start to appear again later on though um, this time. And um, you can see a clustering of warmer than average runs, but also a couple of cooler runs. And there's that one going down to minus five. That's not happening. Um, but it does look like temperatures will trend above average into the second week of June, as is to be expected. Precipitation, well, it looks pretty dry at the moment for London. And then for that first week of June, looks a little bit more mixed, more unsettled. A few showers passing through. If it may be a drying trend at the end of the run. If we go further north to Barnsley, um, everyone's favourite place. <laughs> then you can see it is a little bit wetter, more mixed in that first week of June. Before maybe a drying trend um, showing up there, but it is a very um, uncertain picture. But there isn't many precipitation spikes appearing anyway. Looks like more showery conditions than anything else. But we'll keep you posted. Thank you all very much for tuning in to today's video. Leave a like, comment and subscribe if you found today's video informative. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye everyone.